In this lesson, we will look at the formula for the sum of interior angles of a polygon and try to get a better understanding of the same. We will look at different polygons and try to see the relationship between the number of sides and how many triangles can we break them up into. First, we see the triangle. Obviously, it can be divided into one triangle only. It has three sides. Next, we look at a quadrilateral which has four sides. Now, we can divide it into two triangles. Note that there is more than one way of doing this division, but in every case, we get only two triangles. Next, we look at the pentagon. Having five sides, it can be divided into three triangles. Now, let us try to understand the relation between the interior angles of the various triangles and the pentagon. We want to know what is the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon, which is the sum of this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle and this one. Since we have a pentagon, it has five angles. One, two, three, four and five. Next, let us see that the sum of the interior angles of the three triangles will be the same as the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon. Can we see that? Let us mark the interior angles of each triangle. These are the interior angles of the first triangle. These are the interior angles of the second triangle. And these are the interior angles of the third triangle. Just by looking at the picture, we can see that the sum of the interior angles of all the triangles would be exactly the same as the sum of the interior angles of the pentagon. That is the argument we will use to get a formula for the interior angles of a polygon. And next, if we see the hexagon, we can see that it can be divided into four triangles and it has six sides. In the same way, we can see that the sum of the interior angles of hexagon, which I am marking out the six interior angles of the hexagon, will be the same as what we will get by adding up the internal angles of the different triangles, of the four different triangles. These are the angles of the first triangle, these are the angles of the second triangle, these are the interior angles of the third triangle, and these are the interior angles of the fourth triangle. The heptagon has seven sides and it can be divided into five triangles. A quadrilateral has four sides and can be broken into two triangles. A pentagon has five sides and can be broken into three triangles. A hexagon has six sides and can be broken into four triangles. A heptagon has seven sides and can be broken up into five triangles. Generalizing, we can see that a polygon of n sides can be broken up into n minus two triangles. And therefore, the sum of the interior angles of an n-sided polygon is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degrees. 180 degrees being the sum of the interior angles of a triangle.